This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're in London. We've just concluded the way in ahead of the JD Next Gen Show tomorrow evening. With me on the bill, Freddie Kewitt. Freddie, how are you? Yeah, I'm blessed. Thank you very much. That's good to hear. Uh, let's talk about your fight. You're fighting Luther Clay tomorrow evening. Many people looking at it as a potential fight of the night contender. How did this opportunity come about for yourself and how quickly did you jump at it as well? Yeah, um, I'm Monday top for the WBO Global, so um, he had to fight me. Um, I'm glad uh, everything came to plan and everything worked out really well. Now, even better on a big platform like this on Metroom, um, it's great and I'm really looking forward to, to the fight now. Obviously, Luther wasn't particularly known to the British audience until we saw him go on a Matchroom Box in Italy show um, and take, take an unbeaten fighters o over there, captured the attention a little bit. How much have you seen of him and what kind of a fight are you expecting tomorrow evening as well? Of course, we've seen a few clips of him. Um, we are prepared for whatever he brings to the table. Um, I believe I can beat him in every department. Uh, Morello didn't want to fight me, so he, he chose to fight Clay first. Um, now I'm fighting Clay because he was the better man there. Um, so it would be a good, great fight. I mean, we both want to win. Um, so it's, it, that's, that's why probably the public thinks it's going to be the fight of the night because we're both coming to win. In terms of your 2019, you've strung up a sequence of wins. You must have a good bit of momentum now. Do you feel that confidence flowing going into this fight after a strong 2019? 100%. This, this, is, this has been a great year so far. Um, this is my third title fight in, in the year. Like How many people will fight for three titles in a year? So um, it truly has been the blessed year and I'm really looking forward to finish it strong. Freddie, I'm just going to drop a plug in here. I'm sure you don't mind. We had you on our website a couple of days ago telling your amazing story. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go and read it. It's fantastic. Just wanted to touch on that a little bit because, as I say, I read the article. Your backstory is amazing. Could you just tell the Boxing Social viewers a bit about that, your journey to date? Yeah, so uh, I was born in Liberia and um, grew up in Germany. Um, started, start, turned professional in, in the UK um, until I got back home to Liberia and where, where we connected really and this is that, that was the point where I thought oh we've got to do something here you know boxing is not big at all um, and not just that it's because there's so many kids without any opportunities so we want to we want to make sure to get the same opportunities that I had because uh, if I wouldn't have come out of, of that bad time um, I would have still be there so um, we just want to give back um, so I, I got a lot of weight on my shoulders because I'm not just fighting for myself I, you know I'm representing whole Africa actually you know I want to make motivate them say look if I can do it you can do it you can do more than me you just got to keep working and believing when I read a bit into your work away from the ring, it reminded me a bit of Badu Jack, who does something similar. You've been involved in a couple of projects, notably the Boxing as Love project and the Save More Kids initiative as well. Can you talk to me about your work away from the ring with charity work and, and the importance of doing so in your mind as well? Yeah, so I see boxing kind of as, as a first round. This, this, this is what we're doing, it's bigger than boxing. Um, we, we try to, to make a difference for the people. Like Boxing is just an individual sport and it just helps me as a person but you know I want to I want to help the people I want to motivate them and so what we're doing is just giving back and inspiring the youth and saying look you, you can do this now what was it that, that sort of drew you to the boxing gym you'll correct me if I'm wrong I'm sure but I've read somewhere that you you were you know playing football done a bit of modeling on the side as well and you start boxing quite late 18 I believe I'm right in saying what was it that drew you to the gym and why stick with boxing when there was other avenues there well, I had an injury, that's why I couldn't continue playing football anymore. And the first time I stepped into the boxing gym, I never looked back. I mean, I never got pushed so hard in training. And that was kind of the turning point for me. I thought I'm fit, I thought, you know. But boxing is really, it's, it's a skillful thing. And it's really, really a men's sport when you think about it. It's one-on-one, -on -one, you know, the better man is winning. When you put the work in, you get the results. And in football, it's also if, if, if you let your team down, or well, one one guy makes a mistake, the whole team is losing. While it's in in boxing, it's just it's just on you. So you can't blame anyone else. So um, if you put the work in, you get the results. Simple. Oh, just back to the fight on Thursday tomorrow evening, Freddie. If you were to get the win over Luther Clay on Sky Sports, you know, a big platform, where does that leave you going into 2020? Does that tee you up for a massive year next year? Oh, 100 percent. This this gonna hopefully shakes me into the top 10 in the WBO. Um, so. Yeah, um, obviously I'm not looking past him, but you know, we, we're looking for a big 2020. Um, I'm, I, I've trained hard and you know, there's so much more to come. I think I'm, I'm now just getting into my peak now, understanding everything because I started boxing so late. So now I start picking up things I didn't see before.
Right, well, Freddie, thank you very much for your time. We've just wait, you've just weighed in, rather. I've never weighed in in my life, as you can probably tell. I'm going to let you go get some food and something to eat, uh, and something to drink, rather. But thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Best of luck tomorrow evening. Thank you.